Even a quick look online can be hypnotizing, fast-paced, overwhelming. <laughs> Chaos, many doctors say, contributing to the explosion of attention deficit disorders in the U.S. According to the CDC, more than 14 million Americans have ADHD, including close to 6 million children. And when we're on screens, our brain is literally dumping dopamine, the neurotransmitter that is so important for focus. Focus is something 11-year-old Clinton Pierce and his parents say he struggled with for years. I could, you know, be in a whole conversation, and then five seconds later I could be like, oh, look at that LeBron painting. Formerly diagnosed with ADHD and initially prescribed Adderall, the drug helped for about a month, they say, before actually making things worse. So that's when we fully started to explore different options. Landing on an option that, ironically, includes more screen time. It's called Mindy, a new treatment for ADHD, depression, addiction, insomnia, and other cognitive issues, and here's how it works. Using a neurofeedback headband in conjunction with an online video game, patients concentrate on moving a ball up a hill, increasing blood flow and providing more oxygen to the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain responsible for focus, attention, and emotion. The device, described as a gem for your brain, is endorsed by neuroscientists at Stanford, Princeton, and Lund, a research university in Sweden. And NASA is aiming to use Mindy as a part of its long-duration space flight mission later this year. A study conducted with the space agency shows astronauts using it during downtime have reported performance increases and say Mindy helps them manage the stress that comes with isolation and confinement, while other independent studies indicate the technology can be effective in treating ADHD. For Clinton, Mindy has struck the perfect core. It's helped me a lot, and I, I love it. It's pretty fun, actually. He isn't taking medicine anymore and says using Mindy for about 10 minutes a day, along with a healthy diet, meditation, and therapy, has helped him excel as an athlete and in the classroom, where he was just named the fifth grade student of the semester. I think it's really helped my attention and focus on somebody speaking. In class, maybe I'd get up and like do a little do a little <laughs> during class like last year, like, but Mindy kind of like, it helped me focus on the ball which helps me focus on my teacher and also like maybe my coach or my parents. Increased focus that for Clinton and his family makes the treatment a slam dunk. Nice, two points for him. Jay Gray is joining us now. So Jay, talk about what makes this kind of treatment so unique, so different. Yeah, and when you think about it, it really makes sense, Holly. Doctors tell me it treats the actual physical issue in the brain, unlike prescriptions, which really just treat the symptoms of ADHD and other problems. So it really goes straight at the issue here. If you had a heart problem, you'd treat the heart. You wouldn't treat the fact that you're winded, the fact that you couldn't climb stairs. You, you would treat the heart. So they say that's what makes this so different. No prescription is required, obviously. And a lot of the patients say it, it works in combination with a cleaner diet, more exercise, and in some cases, even therapy. But there are a lot of patients, dozens, uh, that we've talked to that have quit taking medicines fully because they are now using Mindy as a part of their regimen. One other note, and, and we've talked about the different applications for yeah. this. A lot of collegiate as well as professional sports teams have now included Mindy as a part of their regular training mm. routines to help the athletes focus better both on and off the field. So it's, it's really interesting and has a lot of promise. Could it have an impact on the pharmaceutical industry more broadly, Jay? Uh, yeah, I mean, you would think that a lot of parents and, and some that we've talked with say, the last thing I want is to have my kid taking medicine mm. all the time and, and having to use that medicine because they feel like it changes them in many ways. So I, I guess it could, but there are many patients, and, and I think it's important to point this out, uh, that still get great benefits from those prescription medicines. So uh, it's not going to go away, obviously, and that's for right. some, that's what works, and they'll continue to use it. Yeah, it's all about how many tools you can get in that toolbox, it seems. Jay Gray, uh, thank you very much. Live for us on that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.